Hey, welcome everybody. This is uh, going to be another unboxing. I have been giving a detector to unbox and test out uh, for Dr. Otech. We'll get to that. Today we are going to unbox, assemble, and then we're going to test this Dr. Otech metal detector. Let's get to it. The kind folks at Dr. Otech was nice enough to send me the Dr. Otech metal detector MTXR. And there's the picture on the side of the box. A little bit of... Uh company knowledge right there how did we get our start our original intention is to get people out of the house and cultivate healthy hobbies we hope to realize this wish through the full through the multifunctional metal detector most metal detectors on the market are complicated to operate time-consuming to learn therefore we developed simple easy to operate metal detectors which can be used by beginners without any detecting experience freeze frame right there so basically what we've got here is a detector that is for beginners only this detector is not intended for the intermediate detectorist it's not intended for the high level detectors it's for somebody to learn the hobby and get into the hobby with simplistic use so therefore i want you to understand that as we go through and you create an expectation for this machine what makes our product unique we always insist on designing and developing our products based on the needs of users. I want to reiterate again, for beginners, the included accessories are made of premium materials that are more durable. Sturdy. I would say that is very true. To help users solve problems and find greater happiness in the detecting process. By taking complication out of the process, remember we're trying to make a detector here for beginners only. Why do we love what we do? The process of exploring the unknown is full of obstacles. We always believe that passion and persistence can help us overcome difficulties. We hope that we are not only an ordinary seller, but your best partner on the journey of exploring the new world. Right now, it seems like they're looking for an affordable, easy to use detector to get you started in this great hobby. And they are willing to send it out to multiple people to test. I've seen several others out there that are going to test this bad boy out as well and have. And I'm going to give you a, an honest opinion of what I think for the price range and what I think about the, the depth and the quality of the detector. So without further ado, let's get this thing put together. Okay, so here is the handle. All these are, it feels like basic aluminum. Here is the, I assume that's about a 10 inch round coil. This is gonna be the carry bag. We'll get to it later. Note, here's a quick start guide with a card uh, that gives all their information. They've been very fast to respond to any of my inquiries that I've had. Also, they give you a nice battery to start with. We'll set this aside as well until we're ready for it. So we got another piece of the shaft here. This goes down and attaches to the coil on this end. So one thing I do notice is they've got, they are a wired headphone. I don't know if they are waterproof or not, but they feel nice. They feel like they're comfortable on the ears. I like the way they feel. I'm not a headphone guy, especially when they're wired, but I'll set them aside as well. The head unit, another one of the little shafts, the armrest. This is a nice surprise. The Dr. Otech hand digger looks really nice. I really like the hand digger, easily a $30 to $40 value. Oh, they cut, put guards on there. It's got depth chart on the side. That's a pretty good little bonus right there uh, going along with the detector. And then we have the main shaft. Okay. For me, the thing is to get the shaft mounted to the uh, to the coil. Pinch it right in there in between them ears.
Okay, so I can't speak for the construction value of it, but it feels very lightweight. So as you'll probably hear in a second, we're recording, uh, getting close to the 4th of July, so don't be surprised to hear some uh, fireworks going on. Let's get this head unit mounted. Everything feels so light, so this is going to be a very light detector. Looks like the head unit just plops right on them two holes on the shaft. Goes down like so. All right. Get this bad boy tightened down. All right. Got the head unit in place. Ready? We're going to mount the... We're going to mount the armband on here. First, we need to snap lock this bad boy in place, like so. That way, you can adjust this thing to how you want it. I'm going to put it on the very end. I think that's what will be best for me to do. Like that. Tighten that bad boy up. All right, that's in place, ready to rock. Now we're gonna fire the stems in here. Squeeze and get it right down below that. Like that. And you get it in here like so. Tighten that down. You ready to do the last one? And just for practice sake, we're just going to get this together. Get it locked in place. Walk out here and we'll see how that feels now that it's assembled. And that should be pretty good next maneuver that I always do is get my coil wrapped and the way this one sets I think I want to start it right here go over the top Okay, so that's in place. Coils set. All right, set that aside for just a second here. you with a 9 volt battery which is needed to operate this machine we will go ahead and we'll install the battery now since we are going to test all right we're going to remove the protective film Let's look and see what what you're going to see when you turn this thing on. Power button. You have a volume button. Three levels of volume. Let's go ahead and see what's next. You have the pinpoint option, which is right there. Takes a double tap to get out of it. Mode, you have discrimination. Memory, jewelry, and all metal. All right, we'll start with discrimination mode. So that is your sensitivity bar on the bottom. 
We'll start at about three. Okay, so as I see it, once you've powered on, you are ready to go. So I'm going to leave it in for my sake. So jewelry mode takes out 1 through 40, which is the iron range. All metal puts everything in, which is where I'm going to stay. And then you got your, once you get into the mode that you're going to be in, then you have your sensitivity bar, which is right here across the bottom. And that's these three here. So you hit sensitivity, you can adjust. Okay, so and then when you notice over here, when you hit a target, it's got your, your depth meter on it. Okay, so it, it's picking up targets. If it hears metal and you can find metal, it's a pretty good starting detector. Feels really ergonomic, easy to swing. Be sure when you're swinging as a beginner, keep your coil level to the ground. Now there's a pop can in my ground right there. We're gonna go over that. And you see that, that it picks it up. Drops it in between a 70 and an 80. Pretty easy. So in pinpoint, when you're on it, you get you get the bars and move closer to the PP. All right, so far that's a good target. Don't have a shovel on me to dig with, so we're not going to dig it. So I wanted to take a quick, just a quick test, and let's just see how it hears a quarter and how well it pinpoints it. Pretty dang good. Right on top of it right there. Uh, I would say that, you know, everything on this I saw in another test, it hears up to about seven inches on everything. Uh, I'm only on three sensitivity. Let's change that for just a second and see how well it reacts to the ground here. All right. Yeah, about seven, eight inches off the ground, maybe a little higher. It still hears that quarter. Stays a nice solid tone the whole time. I got to say, for somebody that is just getting into the hobby and wants to, to give it a shot, this is not a bad investment because... With this deal that they got going from July 3rd through July 9th, I believe I will post it uh, right here. Hey guys, thank you for watching today. Just so you guys know, this is the detector that I have been testing, the MTXR metal detector. It says now in colors by Dr. Otek. Buy an MTXR kit for 139 US, 159 Europe. It says get an MT6 Pro Pinpointer for free. With that kit also comes this digger, which was very nice. 
it seems very well made and a carrying case based on what you see in the price right there with the with a pinpointer looks really nice carrying case and a digger right there you're really close to a hundred dollar mark no matter what how you slice it and then you get the detector on top of that i think it's a good deal if you want to experiment with the hobby if you're not sure I will put links in the description for where to go and buy this deal. Just want everybody to know that I am not a paid sponsor. I am here just as a third party trying to evaluate it for a new consumer. This seems like a pretty good deal that's not going to hurt your pocketbook. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. And it's capable enough to where you can figure out whether or not you want to be in the hobby. If you can't carry a lot of weight, the weight's pretty well balanced. It's pretty ergonomic. Somebody's new is looking for something that beeps, gives you an accurate, an accurate depiction of what metal you're digging. Glad to have tested it out a little bit. I'll probably do just a little bit more for this first video. Thank you for watching.